You're tuning into the Tech Me Show only on YouTube. Thank you again for tuning into the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to show you another little hack that I figured out with Windows 8. Uh, before you might know about the little trick uh, um, about the Windows apps uh, hole. Uh, and it's bad because as a developer that gives people access to my source code, so to speak. Now, what do I mean by that, right? Well, we'll go ahead and go just naturally in here, right? You go ahead to go to your my computer, your local disk, program, well, here, we'll make it as if you've never done it before, right? So we'll go to program files, oh, looks normal, right? Well, we go to x86, looks normal. Well, if we go back and click view, show the hidden files, go back to 64-bit, which is, you know that because it doesn't say x86, as you see here, you have Windows apps, right? And I once showed you um, how to uh, hide and show everything. Now, if you didn't have permission to do this and whatnot, obviously you go to the security tab and blah, blah, blah. Well, another quick little trick I figured out is uh, through the MMMC, right? And another way to get there is if we uh, go ahead and uh, um, load up a command prompt, right? So we're going to go ahead and save console settings, yes. Uh, actually we won't just for the heck of it right we'll show it brand new as if uh, it was never touched so we'll go to search and we'll simply type in CMD and we'll type MMC and we'll get our box here console so here you are in your console it's completely dead so we want to go to the add and remove snap-ins um, now there's tons of things you can add in here like component services sure computer management okay let's do that too the device manager you know things in here that you should have uh, it's good to have device manager nice to have and cool is you can uh, obviously um, include uh, remote uh, machines as well but things you should also look in here is like the group policy object so we'll go ahead and add that we'll call a local computer uh, you can change things. Another cool thing I noticed is link to web address. That's pretty neat. You could also add your local users and groups. And again, like I said, you can also do this for um, remote. And then we could do security configurations, which is a good one. And the most important one that you really need to have is the security templates, at least for this. So we'll go ahead and press OK. So as you see, security configuration really is not going to do anything for us right now. We want to concentrate on security templates. Why? Well, you'll see. So there's no template here, obviously. So we'll go ahead and right-click, left-click, new template. I know people get upset. I say left and right-click and press OK, uh, but I have to. I'm sorry. So we'll call a template name. We'll just give it the letter F. Description, we don't need one. So here we are, letter F, right? We open it up. And now we're given our local policies, account policies, and the event logs so we can see what's been going on and other junk, restricted groups, registry, file system. Right? So, here's something if we wanted to see the apps inside of the Windows Apps folder without doing any kind of security changes, simply click Add File. And again, this is very s small and petty, but we'll go into the, our program files. How do we know? Because that's where it is, program files, and we see Windows apps. So we'll slide down. Windows apps. Oh, wait. All of a sudden, now we see all of the apps inside of that folder. Isn't that odd? So look at that. Now we can see all the content inside of it, and we never had to do anything, which is pretty cool. Now, some of these files you may be able to open, some you may not. Uh, it's kind of a hit and miss. As you see, it's sort of a hit and miss, right? Then again, these are PNG files, right? So how can we see for sure if it's just maybe not uh, blending in? Well, well, go ahead and open it with paint. Oh, what do you know? It's not working. So maybe the images aren't working, right? That is always a possibility. Again, there are transparency. I don't know what the image is. 
Uh, should we try to open something else? Um, I haven't done this yet, so bear with me. Um, an XML document. Okay, let's click edit. Wow, what do you know? Isn't that sad? We didn't have to do any security modification, and now we can just, one, see all the folders inside, and it looks like we can actually, quote, edit the files inside without having to open it. Now, isn't that odd? Now, I don't know if you can save to it. Probably not. I'm not even going to try. Um, but more importantly, it shows us that we could open the files without having to do any kind of security change, like my last video uh, and document. So, let's see. Can we go into Windows apps? No. We still can't even get in here. We don't have the permission. So without even having permission, we found a way to bypass the security in the system just by opening uh, a new security template and making one, just calling it F and accessing the file system. So now we have access to the source code to basically our apps, assuming there is an app that we could see the source code to. And yes, it's a little window, but you can, wow, make it a little bit bigger. What do you know? Um, I mean, it's not going to be great, but the fact is, you can see the uh, files. Again, we couldn't see it before uh, by going into the actual folder, but uh, we can now actually see the content inside, um, which is not good, is it? Because it goes to show the security sucks on it. And unfortunately, that's really sad. And, you know... It upsets me a little bit, but we can just edit and bam, see the source code. Now, something like that, you probably don't want to open it with WordPad, right? There you go. A little bit better, but if you had something like an XML viewer or a Visual Studio, right? Uh, probably be a lot better. Um, but nonetheless, uh, there you go. We uh, were able to access the files, uh, see source codes without ever um, changing anything and bypassing the security uh, so I hope Microsoft makes a change here because this is a little upsetting um, unfortunately nobody ever comes to me and says Lance would you help us I've asked many times and this is not the only hacks that I've found in this operating system um, unfortunately and maybe you don't feel this is a hack well, I feel hacked because if this was my program and I was making an HTML5 app, obviously now people could see where I was requesting things and what have you, which unfortunately is a little upsetting, don't you think? And if you don't, let me know. Tell me in the comments below or you can contact me on Twitter, uh, at Lance Seidman, that's L-A-N-C-E-S-E-I-D-M-A-N, or my blog, lance.compulsivetech.biz, and that's C-O-M-P-U-L-S-I-V-E-T-E-C-H dot B-I-Z. And again, it'll be at the end of the video. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, we are able to see the contents here. It's, you know, not good. Uh, the question is now, with the file system, what else can we get into without having um, the permission? Because if you notice, we didn't add any different permissions. And we didn't add ourselves onto here. And we're not on as an administrator account. So, that's it for me here in Las Vegas. And again, if you want to be able to access this stuff again, go ahead and click uh, save. You can call it whatever you want. We'll call it console one. But nonetheless, I am Lance Seidman. I am from the Tech Me Show. We'll see you next time.